you how long you been staying in Chicago? All my life. Um, all my life. All your life. It's been a lot of murder. A lot of our people going into jails, and a whole bunch of wickedness is happening to our kids, right? So how do we stop this from happening? Do you have any, Do you have any suggestions? You keep yours. You got neighbors. You got brothers. You got sisters. You got friends. I got brothers and sisters out of town. Yeah. What about them? Do they know how to do what you know how to do? Yeah. But you know, within our communities, there's a lot of grief going on. Like this sister right here. She just lost her her child in prison. You know what I'm saying? So it's our job to help those to know how to get through these things so it won't happen again. Because you got a good example of knowing how to raise your children right so they won't come with the things. So now we got to, what, help our people, right? So let me show you what the Bible says, how we supposed to treat each other so we won't keep going through these atrocities and these earths. All right, hold on. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 43. And they said one to another, let us restore the decayed state of our people. So the Bible taught us to go out and to restore the mindsets of our people. Because the mindsets of our people is destroyed, is decayed, right? It's a shame that our people go out here and rob, they, they take cars from people, shoot them down in the street, then they go to prison, and what? They get killed in there. It's a shame that those things happen. Is it, do you think it's right for kids 13, 14 years old to go up to a grown man with a gun, tell them to give me your car or I'm gonna kill you? That's wrong, right? That shouldn't be happening. Right, but why is these things happening to us? I want you to listen to this scripture. Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 16 verse 12. It For it was neither herb nor modified plaster. So the Bible says it's not medicine what's really just going to help your body to heal or help your mind to be at ease. It's not those things, but it's something that's supposed to help your mind to be at ease and help your body to heal. Listen to what it says. That restored them to health. It restored them to health because remember the other scripture we read it says look we're going to restore the decay set of uh, mindset of our people the decay the state of our people read but thy word O Lord which hid of all things so the word of God is what's going to restore us what's going to heal right. all things right. you understand that sis so look now you said that you teach yours right let me show you something that can help her that something like cause you might run into a sister like her on the streets one day. Right. So let me show you a scripture that you could show her that you teach your children that could be able to help her at the same time. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Right Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Right? So, sis, you see the kids out here robbing. They got autom fully automatic guns with switches on them, shooting each other down. The rap music. Do you let your children listen to rap music, sis? Yeah. You do? Yeah, Rap music, like Lil Herb, Lil Dirt. You let them listen to that? NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy? How old are you, sis? 40. 40. 40. So you was listening to Tupac, Biggie, Biggie Smalls back in the day. So you, right? You let your children listen to that as well, right? Now let me show you, let me show you how the rap music to have your mind in a decayed state to where now you start living out what those lyrics is talking about. That's right. So although you may be teaching your children don't kill, but if you allow them to listen to the music about them, there's a high probability that they will act out those lyrics. And the Bible tells us to be mindful of what we listen to. Right. Read. First Corinthians 15, 33, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So the Bible says evil communication corrupts good manners. Right. Now you're teaching your children good manners, right? But if you allow them to listen to Lil Herb, talking about spinning the block, shooting the ops, guess what your son may possibly do? Right. Read it again. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. Now listen to what the Bible says, the first few words. Read it again. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Why do you think the Bible is saying be not deceived? Why do you think it says that? Huh? The reason why the Bible says that is because we think it's cool, it's just words. It's not going to harm us. Because it's playing on WGCI 92.3. Because our we listened to when we were kids and we didn't become like that. 
right? But the Bible says, be not deceived because these words, they will what? Bring life or death into your home. It can happen. Read. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So look, evil communication corrupts good manners. Now we say that the word of God is what heals us, right? So if we listen to evil communication that's going to corrupt good manners, guess what's going to happen? Hey, J Janice. Hey, how you doing, bro? How you know this sister right here, if you don't mind me asking? Y'all friends? Hey, did you know about what happened to her son? Oh, yeah. What happened? He got, he, yeah. How, what, what type of words did you give her of encouragement? So you try to give her some good, good communication, right? You didn't want to, you, you didn't give her no evil communication. You gave her some good communication, right? Read that. Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them. So the word of God is supposed to heal us from all hurt, harm, and danger from grief. Not the evil communication that little Dirk is talking about. A little herd. You know what I'm saying, sis? So you have to be mindful about letting your children listen to those things. Because look, God forbid, right? Your son grows up, 18, 19, 20 years old. Now he's out in the world. He's working, got his own apartment. And now those evil words, right? Because now these guys are telling you in the rap music, man, if somebody do something to you, pull up a gun and shoot him, right? But is that the right thing to do if somebody disrespects your son? What is the thing that your son's supposed to do if somebody disrespects him? Huh? Come to, but he's 19, 20, 21 years old. So he's supposed to come tell his mama and somebody mess with him? But he's a grown man at this time. Right? Because, yeah, I understand that. But but as a child, you're supposed to teach him how to how he should live. So when he gets grown, now he can start acting out the way that you show him how to walk. Bring it out. You understand that? So let me give you some good communication that's gonna help guide you to guide your son to walk righteously on this earth. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Hey, Sean, you hear that? The Bible says train up a child in the way that he should go. So while he's a young man, able to receive your words, your nurture from him, you're supposed to train him up. You're supposed to tell him, look, if somebody disrespects you, son, hey, just, you know what, just shrug it off. Just ignore him. Keep it moving. It's not worth going word for word. You know why? Because these guys out here, they got guns. They got guns and they'll shoot your son down for going back word for word. Right. So you got to what? Give them that good communication. That's Not right. the evil communication that little dirt and little herb is spewing out of the airway. That's right. You understand? Read it again. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. See that? So when your son gets older, when he gets 19, 20 years old, and he's out in the workforce, he has his own apartment, and he's not around you, he'll know how to conduct himself. Why? Because he did what? Read that from the top. Train up a child in the way, that, in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So you see how that could affect your children when they're young? You know what I'm saying? Because what? That would stop some of the stuff that happens that happened to your son. Had you would have known this, sis, you would have been able, you know what? Let me train up my child the way he should go. So when he gets older, he'll know how to conduct himself. You understand that? So give me uh, Leviticus 19 and 17 real quick. Because here's another law that you could teach your children. Hey, hey Shonda, listen to this one real quick. This one's real important. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out! Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So look, because there's a lot of hatred going on in our communities. You know what I'm saying? We quick to kill each other. Even the young sisters. How old is your daughter? She's nine. You got nine-year-olds that's out here fighting in elementary school. To scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. 
Europe, I'm Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.